husband, who then flees with the boy. Now the mother is looking for help in rescuing her son back. Eric Green talked with her tonight, and he's here right now with the full story. Eric? All right, imagine for a moment being a parent, being very close with your child for his or her eight years, and then having that child snatched from you by your former spouse while you're lying in a hospital. Well, that's the pain with which a Lakewood resident is now living. This is eight-year-old Waleed Moran and his mother, Vian, in happier times when they were together. She was married to Waleed's father, Khalid Miran Dafter, for 10 years, most of the time in Bulgaria. They moved to the United States in 1990. He left Vian and Waleed two months later and moved back to Bulgaria. Vian says it was never a happy marriage. He was violent. He used to hit me a lot. That violent streak was still present last July when Vian took Waleed to Bulgaria to visit his father. Three weeks into the visit, Vian says her drunken ex-husband demanded she remarry him. He started hitting me and he said, you've been here three weeks I, and I didn't hit you yet. So he started hitting me. Then he went to the kitchen, he got a knife. By that time, I went to get my keys and my purse. He got the knife, he said, you're not leaving today, I'm going to kill you. As Dafter gave chase to Vian, she decided the only way out was through the window to the cement, one floor below. She broke her arm and back. All this happened in front of her son. At the beginning, he, he was yelling, no. And he looked at him and he told him, shut up, you. So he had to sit on the couch and he couldn't do anything. Vian was taken to a local hospital where she stayed for four weeks. But during that time, Dafter took their son and fled the country. Over the next four months, they went first to Morocco, where Dafter has a residence, then to his and Vian's homeland, Iraq, back to Morocco before returning to Bulgaria in December. With no relatives in Bulgaria, Vian returned home to Lakewood to recuperate, trying to work through the American embassy in Bulgaria to secure her son, but to no avail. Vian says she's only talked to her son twice, which has the father none too pleased. He's written two threatening letters to her. In one, he promises to cut out her tongue, if she tries to see Waleed, the other threatens her and their son's life. And if I need him, I'll probably kill him. So you won't see him again. And now Vian wants two things. One, her son, and for her former ex-husband, her former husband, to be punished. But what she fears is that the ex will take the boy to Iraq, which, of course, does not have the best of diplomatic relations with the United States, and she fears she would never see him again. So Vian plans to contact Congressman Martin Hook's office next week for some help. And she and her family here have set up a number. If you can lend any assistance, whether it be legal, whether you're some type of a henchman and would want to go over there and kidnap him back, the number is 861-736-8. She'll be happy to hear from anybody at this point. That would be devastating to be separated from your child. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. That's in a nutshell devastating. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric.